video that jazz and blues guitarist in Berkeley, California. Today's lesson is blues guitar lick of the day number 26. I'd like to show you another simple but very good sounding lick today. So let's get started with the tuning. I have been using 432 hertz tuning from high E string to low E string. So let's double check with the E chord and open position here. And the G chord. Today's lick is something like this um, in the key of A, A7 chord, over A7 chord, uh, starting from the third beat, end of third beat. One, two, three. So the timing is a little bit difficult uh, starting from end of third beat and also the sliding is not together with the bass and end of fourth beat. So um, let's um, pay attention to that. And the frets are on A7 chord, 5 going to the 7th fret hammer and then 5-5 five, five slide E and B string and a 7-5 again, a B string, and a G string, third string, uh, we do 5th um, to the 6th hammer. And I'm double picking here uh, with a B string underneath of it. Okay, so um, one more time. One, two, three. And intervals for this thing, this, these notes are um, five here, fifths, major 6 and 5th in the root together and the major 6 again, the 5th again and then minor 3rd, hammer 2, major 3rd. So I can fit this in all over 12 bar blues as well. So let's play like this. One, two, three. Something like this, so you can fit in any way you like to fit, um, which is third of A7 chord, um, major third. Um, I'll be adjusting for the D7 chord. Just don't play the C sharp on the D7, but uh, play the D, uh, play the C note on on over the D7 chord. Okay, so let's move this to the different key, um, a B7 chord. Okay, for the B7 chord, I will start from the uh, seventh fret, nine, uh, ninth fret hammer, then seven seven slide, and a picking from the nine to seven, and then hammer from five six, the third string, G string. Okay, so oh, when you play bass, um, basically just you know play the the low string, the E string, seventh fret here. I'm also covering up the um, ninth fret with other finger. Okay, so um, let's play in the C7 here. For the C, uh, we do um, start from the uh, eighth fret, eight to ten hammer, and an eight A slide, and then picking from ten to eight, and a hammer from eight to nine. For D, it's just the two frets up, it's the same thing. So maybe the higher sound is kind of better. Um, so the 10th fret to the 12th fret, and then 10, 10, slide, and then back to, um, no, actually um, from 12 to 10, picking, and then hammer from 10 to 11. For 
the E actually here on the 12th fret. Uh, the 12th fret to the 14th fret um, hammer and 12 12 slide and then 14 to 12 picking and then hammer from 12 to 13. Um, you can do technically on the open position but you can slide so that open strings sound a little bit too open. Sound like that. So uh, let's try to do it in the upper position here, 12th fret. For the G here, um, third fret. Okay, for the G, three, two, five, hammer. And then five, five, no, three, three, slide. And then five, two, three, picking, and then hammer from 3rd fret to the 4th fret. So it looks like kind of higher position sounded a little better. But let's go back to the A here. Okay, so this was the today's lick. I'm going to play this a little bit slower. For the four chord, adjusting my third, and it's bending up a little bit on that the C note. Okay, so that's the kind of trick. If you play this all over twelve bar blues, then you can adjust um, at the four chord over the four chord. Your minor, your major third become minor third. That's very common practice. Okay, um, okay. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Um, this was today's lesson. Um, no lick of the day number twenty six. So I will see you next video. Thank you so much.